Good afternoon guys, happy Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, um, I was actually up pretty early today, although I didn't get done as much as I wanted to. I think I did dishes today, I honestly can't really remember. Um, but honestly, I am very disappointed in myself because I have not been using my planner. Um, it's now, we're now into February and I have still not written anything down in my planner. I don't even think, I honestly think the last time I used it was sometime early in the fall. Um, and I have not used it at all. One of my New Year's resolutions was because I noticed, I don't really make it a New Year's resolution, but because I noticed in that like time frame between like, again, early fall up until like the start of the year I was like I haven't really been writing in my planner and at first I was kind of like oh it's because the holidays and everything like that maybe I've just been really busy and that's why I haven't been writing in my planner as much um or and also too maybe because like things have just been kind of changing a lot like you know like there would be a lot of things that would just like come up that we'd have going on like over that period of time like during the holidays where we'd be like oh we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and so like I don't know I wasn't writing in my planner like to keep track of that kind of stuff because I knew that there was a lot like not really super super concrete if that makes sense so um and I always hate writing things down in my planner if like they end up changing so um if I I'm not like okay we're for sure doing this you know whatever I don't like writing it down in my planner if I think that it's going to change <laughs> So, um, I think that was why, but I told you guys that like the beginning of January, um, I was kind of like, oh, one of my new year's resolutions that I kind of wanted to make for myself. And this was a little bit into January. I had said how I wanted to sort of like, you know, like, I think it was like the second week into January. How I've been really good about like taking my vitamins every single day. That was one big thing. And I've still been amazing about that, that, which is really awesome. And honestly too, it's so weird. Like now I think there's so many days there's like I don't know scientifically proven so many days you actually create a habit for yourself if you end up doing it for I want to say it's like 14 days or 16 days or 20 something days I don't remember but it's like something around there um that you wind up doing it so many days in a row and you turn it into a habit where like you don't really think about it you just kind of do it again without thinking about it um and so I've done that now with my, like my vitamins I don't even think about it I just I love the little like vitamin organizer that I have it's like the little pill organizer that I got from Aldi because the days pop out so like if I'm like oh I'm going to eat my dinner like in the you know in the kitchen or whatever I can just take one of those little things with me and like while I'm having my water with dinner I can remember to actually take them because that's the thing I'm like okay like I take my multivitamins are gummies but everything else that I take like my vitamin c my b12 and um what else do I take uh, my probiotic those ones are all like pills I have to swallow them so I need water and so sometimes that's why I would like not take them regularly because I'd be like oh, I don't have water with me right now and also too weird thing I hate hate taking pills with like anything else but water I don't like like juice or like if I have to I will but I don't know like just because I feel like I guzzle water down more than like I'm more like sip when I'm drinking anything else but water I like guzzle water down and but like when I'm like having like juice or you know like anything else that I'm drinking I like sip it so and I don't wind up like being able to have like enough to be able to actually swallow the pill then and like I don't know and then it's just like I don't know it's really weird but I just prefer it with water um so like I said that was one of the big reasons why I seem to not like I noticed I would fall off like not like I take my vitamins for like a short period of time like a week straight then maybe like there'd be a couple days in there where I'd end up forgetting and then I'd wind up completely forgetting like the following week and wouldn't take them at all for like a while <laughs> and then um you know I'd have to start doing it again but I have to remember and start you know like getting myself to do it again now for some reason though I've just like I've done it for so long that it's just become like second nature but I feel like one of those reasons why before when I noticed that I would like stop kind of taking them was because I didn't have water with me like on those days like not that I didn't have water but I just <laughs> didn't have it with me when I was like oh yeah like I remind myself like oh yeah I have to take them you know I leave them wherever and you know like in my room and I wouldn't have my water bottle with me and so I was like oh, I can't take them right now you know so I actually have been really good about that and you know again too I will make sure 
that I take the little thing with me again if I'm having it in the, in the kitchen like I'll have it with dinner you know like that kind of stuff so I've been really good about that it was one of my new year's resolutions that I actually think it was not last Saturday I think two Saturdays ago maybe or three Saturdays ago was I think the only day since the start of the new year that I actually forgot to take them for one day um I think that's the only day that I didn't other than that I've been perfect obviously for me it's just more about consistency I know every once in a blue moon I might end up forgetting to take them but it's just about like not going on this like oh I took them for like two weeks and then I you know was super super sporadic and then I forgot to take them for like another two weeks and so, like I said, I just want to, like, be very consistent about it, even if it is I just forgot, like, one day, um, you know, as long as I'm still remembering to take them every single day. Um, like, Jack takes his because he has them next to his bed upstairs. He takes his, like, gummy multivitamins or whatever, um, like, when he wakes up in the morning. Like, he'll have breakfast, and before he leaves for school, he just takes, like, two vitamins and then ends up, you know, like, um having his breakfast or whatever and goes to school um so he remembers every single day but like I said normally I wind up taking mine in the afternoon and so like I have to remember I normally take mine like I like to have them with dinner um so but Jack's really really also been consistent I think ever since I actually got him like the ones that we got from Meyer recently um I think he's taken them every single day too um since then but um you know anyways <laughs> So that was one of my New Year's resolutions. I've been good with that. My planner, I have not, I have literally not done it a single day and I am very, very frustrated with myself about that. Um, and like, I don't know, I've just been like now again too, like I was telling you guys how like all of a sudden it's getting really warm. Like it was again, like forties, you know, it's supposed to be forties and this weekend's supposed to get cold, but I looked next weekend, it's actually supposed to get into the 60s guys i'm actually thinking we go and do some like outside like um garden cleaning clearing out some of the garden beds um like that weekend um would be really awesome so long as it's not supposed to rain or anything because like um i think when we get the cold weather this weekend i think it's like on thursday or something like that it's supposed to rain and so like then that's going to bring with it like a cold front i think and then it's supposed to get cold but then by like next thursday it's supposed to be warm again and it looks like in the 60s but still when I see like unless I know it's like a two or so days beforehand I don't really look super far into the forecast I'm like oh if it says it's going to be 60s but honestly it could whatever the warm front is that's supposed to be coming could wind up completely missing us or it doesn't you know it doesn't actually get that warm or whatever and we're still only in like the 40s or something like that so I never get super excited about seeing anything like that where it's like oh the temperature or you know for sure like oh it's gonna rain this day and it's like a week out and then finding out like I said because I think I told you guys originally it was supposed to rain like on Tuesday it looks like it's supposed to rain on Thursday now for this week and I looked at that last week um and now it's changed since then so like I said that's one of those things where like I don't take that completely like you know weather <laughs> weather predictions are always a lot of times wrong um you know but it's, it's kind of accurate at least so it looks like by next week at least at some point we might be getting some some warmer weather which is you know even warmer which is awesome so um anyways though um yes i like i said though because i haven't been using my planner as much i feel like i just i i forget what i actually did like it w versus where i would write down in my planner i could be like very um you know like knowing like you know and feel accomplished in what i was able to get done for that day i'd be like yeah like i got that done like i felt really good about getting that thing done or you know like this was one of my plans or goals to get you know done or whatever it is and so um you know like one of the things that i was very excited about and i felt like kind of motivated me a little bit a little bit this week at least um was getting that pantry all cleaned and organized that i showed you guys our snack pantry it's just like oh my goodness it's such a relief because i don't dread putting like groceries away now um because everything has been somewhat organized which honestly i think the last time we did it was probably close to if not six months maybe a year ago um at least like i mean we've kind of cleaned it out but like we haven't had it like completely organized where like it's actually like 
nice and organized and so um like i said it's it's refreshing that that is all done and taken care of and so that was one of the things that kind of like motivated me to be like yeah like you know this stuff is getting done and everything and now i'm kind of like you know what i want to try and get some more stuff done but like had i written like that kind of stuff down in my planner and even to just like daily things that i get done you know like again to just the dishes and laundry which are like my daily goals but like it's it there's again some type of like psychology thing like you just write it down and you're able to check it off it motivates you to get sometimes those bigger projects done and those more difficult or daunting tasks that you have so when you have a big task one of the best things to do is to break it down smaller into small things so if you're like oh my goodness we need to remodel the living room and you're like I don't even know where to start you have to start with a very small thing okay first thing is we have to get all the furniture out of here okay second thing is we have to tear down the drywall okay third thing is we have to put the drywall up <laughs> you know again whatever it might be we have to redo the electric we have to re-sand the floors we have to again do whatever it might be again when you're looking at really really big projects like those kind of things it's best to take him in, in the little small little tiny steps and I feel like I actually do that pretty well like um you know with our upstairs remodel that we're doing um you know, everybody's like, oh, we need to do this and we need to do that. And I'm like, okay, no, we need to take them as small little, you know, like baby steps. And we need to slowly get to that point of doing those things. Because if not, we could also wind up in a, in a much bigger problem than, you know, we are already in. Um, you know, where it's just going to be way more chaos than if we take things a little bit slower. Um, and a little bit more, like I said, like, you know, a little bit more detailed. So, like, th that's one thing. But then on top of that, too, just getting the little things checked off at a time can help you you know, again, too. So just being like, I just need to stay on top of the dishes so that I can keep my sanity and so that while we're trying to do XYZ big project thing or whatever it is, at least knowing that the dishes are done every single day, you know, keeps your sanity enough and you're able to check that off every single day. You know, that's one thing that then again, too, you can kind of focus on and make sure it gets done. And it helps you, like I said, and it's some type of like psychology thing or whatever, some type of science, you know, that's, you know, actually kind of been proven to help a lot of people be able to then get those bigger things done by just being able to check off the little thing of getting dishes done getting laundry done feeding the dogs taking the dogs outside those kind of just little mundane tasks that you probably do anyways without hardly thinking about it sometimes when you don't do them then you're like oh my gosh I can't believe I forgot about it because I had this other big project going on and so like it also helps you keep yourself organized for again those bigger projects that you also have to do but again to the science behind you just checking off the little things things that you don't even notice that you do actually somehow helps you get the bigger project done because of like I said it's just like that's like reward center in your brain like you get rewarded by getting to check something off so while it might be a little thing you're still feeling good about getting that done so like I said I I feel like I need to get back on that I'm a huge advocate for it but I just have not done it especially not recently <laughs> and I need to get back on to doing it and I feel like I might have been and could be a little bit more organized and staying on top of things so either way I will see you guys though all in tomorrow's vlog and hopefully maybe um setting up my planner for possibly next week at least <laughs> um but I will share that with you guys hopefully I can keep myself accountable I'll write that in my planner for tomorrow is to set my planner up for next week because like it's kind of already too late in the week to like set it up at this point um so like i said i want to try and maybe do that in the for next week but anyways i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today so make sure you guys give the gold thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys